So, where are we? So we're right in the middle of Sheffield. We've just gone past the train station. Uh, there are other places here, so I'd say um, there's a bus station here and so on. Huge buildings all around, lots of new work, but we've actually come here because the oldest pub in Sheffield is here. In amongst all of this, is this building down here, the oldest pub in Sheffield, the old Queen's Head. So let's go and check that one out. Ah, oh, let's go. So, you know, we, we thought since the last one we went to was shut, which is a true Anne Renata thing, we uh, looked over here and we saw that the Queen's Head has a two let sign out the front of it. We thought, oh no, it's shut. But just over there we spotted someone, so it's open. Look how wonky it is. Can you see the bend? So what's the story with this one? How old is it? Um, I've got to check my notes. Check your notes. In other words, Google it. Yep. Okay, we'll Google it and be back. Okay, Renata, tell me all your knowledge you have about the place. Because <laughs> she Googles uh, frantically. Uh, okay. Uh, 15th century timber framed building. Oldest surviving domestic building in Sheffield. Uh, it's now Grade 2 listed and it's allegedly haunted. Uh, we're going to try and go in and speak to one of the managers at one stage. Uh, I don't think we ever got to actually do that. Um, but we're going to go in and have a have a quick look, huh? See see what we see what we can find in here. Okay. I love how it bows in the middle there. Ghostbusters spent the night here on the 31st of May 2003 in the cellar and bar area. They claimed to have seen the figure of a young boy and a man standing near the fireplace and also felt several presences, some of which bear a striking resemblance to some of the observations made above. At the end of their investigation, they came to the conclusion the building was haunted, but possibly only on an occasional basis. <laughs> So there's lots of myths and legends. Legend has it that at various times in the past, three ghosts have been seen in the tunnel, which is believed ran from the old Queen's Head to Sheffield Castle. They've been described as an old man carrying jugs of ale, a maid in old fashioned dress, and of course, Mary Queen of Scots. <laughs> oh, Monkswell rumoured that unsuspecting individuals were taken along the tunnel running between these premises and Sheffield Castle and thrown into a well where they either died from starvation or they were devoured by rats. So we've been told that this is the most haunted part of the building and this is a dining room. At the moment there's no one here which is good so we can film. Imagine how this world outside has changed from these windows. Because you're talking about something that was built in the 1400s, so what would, what would that view have been? <coughs> it's 
so very different. Here's the original pub. Is that yeah. it? The old hall at the ponds, now the old Queen's Head public house. Oh my god. I'm gonna angle it so you don't. That would have needed a bit of uh, renovation. Yeah. He's delivering the beer. Isn't that great? Wow. Oh, those timbers. So obviously the timbers have been replaced, but these would be original. That would be an original. These would be replacements here. Look at the size of it. Yeah. So we're having a quick cup of coffee because um, yeah, we want to support the business. They've, they've been very kind enough to let us in. Uh, so I thought, why not? We're here. Let's put Spirit Talker on. Oh no, stop it doing. Oh God. So I, I have it on. We'll see if the uh, the spirits want to talk to us. Ah, try and get some better light. Oh, too much light. So if there are any spirits here and they would like to speak to us, we have a, a box with lights on it here. Now I'm speaking, assuming that they won't know what technology is, I don't know. If you use this, it can pick up on your energy and you can maybe use your mind to project words to talk to us. So if there is someone here, could you tell us your name, please? It's running. So where are we sitting in? We're sitting in the um, in the dining room. Yep. Jacob. Oh well, thank oh, Jacob. you. So I did ask for a name, and I was given Jacob. So thank you very much, Jacob. It's got to be real now, doesn't it? What was your job here, Jacob? What did you do? Or oh, you may not have worked here. Now, if you did work here, could you tell us what you did? Or maybe you're a patron. Just tell us your association. I've asked about five questions there for them, so good luck answering that. Tell us your association with this hotel, this establishment, this ale house. Renata is filming to our Grand Poo Bars. If you'd like to become a Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, just type in Anne and Renata Patreon and you'll find us. Make sure you join the Grand Poo Bar tonight. sale. Oh, tonight. Oh no, tonight actually. Tonight. 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 Oh, we have to get right in there. Don't know if it can see us. So Jacob's going to be working tonight. I celebrate my he's going to be love. Stuffing, for he's you. going to be stuffing people down the um, the the well, the well, and Being taking by rats. and taking taking them out to the ocean. No, no, to um, Sheffield Castle. That's oh, what they do. That's right. There's supposed to be a tunnel. Yes, Sheffield Castle is around here. Jacob. Jacob. Is there a tunnel? Are you aware of the tunnel? So just say tunnel, Jacob. It's super serious. They're here during the day or the night? Oh, excellent. You want to communicate. 
You're doing a fabulous job. As you can see, we'd like to have a little bit of fun. But we're getting an interesting run of words. I'm sure that we can convince people we're making a story out of this. Team. Some prey. Oh, sorry. And we've just had the word prey come from the ether. There was yes. no reason for that. Renata was not playing with her phone. No. See? Not in my hand. I'm in hand having a coffee. Yeah, just having a coffee. Which we've got to drink quickly because the car is going to run out of um, the meter. I'll get booked. <laughs> when we parked here, I accidentally stole somebody's car park. <laughs> Didn't mean to. But, are you getting any vibes from here, from this place? This is supposed to be um, the most haunted part. They, they can't allow us um, downstairs. Apparently there are cellars and things downstairs. They can't allow us down there. Uh, they do do a ghost tour here. Um, so if you're kind of in the Sheffield area. Forgive my sins. Oh, oh forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Jacob, what did you do? We forgive you. We do. We absolutely forgive you. Not that we're qualified to give, forgive anyone, but you know. Unless you've harmed children or animals, then we don't forgive you. <laughs> but you can do a ghost tour here. Um, and I'd, look, this is the most out of place building ever, anywhere. It just, it, it kind of just, it doesn't belong. It should be kind of lifted up and, and taken gently to some museum and placed in there graciously. And it kind of just sits surrounded by really ugly buildings. Really ugly. Oh, don't meet the ugly. I'm trying to turn you around and have a look out there. very modern. Everything's very modern out there. No, it's just, it's horrid. Horrid concrete buildings. And across the road looks like some sort of a, I don't know, um, warehouse building. I don't know what that is. That is probably part of the railway. Yeah, I think it is. Um, for workers or the, the buses or whatever. Um, and this just kind of this beautiful, beautiful place sits in amongst all of that. Spirit. Spirit. Oh, look, see? That's got to be real. Spirit. spirit. There's, there's not only spirit, but there is also alcohol. So, you know, yeah. double whammy. So spirit. Irish. Oh, oh, Irish spirit. They've got Baileys here. Oh. <laughs> it just said Irish. Irish spirit. Isn't that cool? So, whoops, maybe Sean or Patrick is darkness. here. Oh, darkness. Here it goes. It's going evil. We're, we're, we're going to have the demonic forces here shortly. You know how it goes. We've got the darkness. <laughs> it's a very nice cup of coffee, may I add. I'm enjoying this. It is. It's very nice. It settled our nerves after the trauma that we had. Oh, the trauma of the roundabout. I'm trying to find this place. There's this one big roundabout down uh, closer to the train station. And there are about four roads that go off in all different directions. And we managed to pick all four Oops, of them. I pressed a button. We did pick all four of them. Yeah, we've tried just, every exit, just, <laughs> except the right one. Just to make sure. I think it was our sixth attempt that we got around. It was. It was the sixth attempt. Sixth attempt. Drain camera. Oh, oh. what? Drain camera? Drain camera? What the hell? Don't be doing that to us. I've never seen that come up before. No, sorry. I'm just trying to... to you've made everyone <laughs> unwell. I know. Sorry, you've roll roll on at sea and drift on a river. Drain camera. Isn't that interesting? Look. They can't see it. They can. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, you, you have little faith. There it is. Drain camera, darkness. It'll be demon next. You wait and see. 
we just set, oh, that's really zoomed in. We don't need to zoom in that far. And I'm just feeling around the back to see if I can work it out. Don't you spit your coffee. Oh. Yeah, I think I fixed it. It says group. Group. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Stop just, it. I'm just saying, we'd love to have a camera crew. You're available. And a director. <laughs> to tell us what to do, because quite frankly, we suck at this aspect. I feel sorry for poor cousin Steve that has to edit this together. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> we love you, Steve. Love you, Steve. Oh dear, we better finish up. Yeah, we've got to go, because otherwise we're going to get booked. So, um, hope you've enjoyed this little episode. Obviously, the, uh, the spirits are now going to drain my camera and the darkness will follow, because that's what happens, is the, the camera gets drained to battery, it goes dark. Hello, the spirits are here. Bye. <laughs>